Yo, what's going on, my people? And welcome back to Run Tell That TV. Um, I've been up since 4 a.m. And um, for one, I have my third interview today. Well, I just looked at the email, and I'm assuming he's going to push time back. Um, so, you know, praying for that, that the um, the interview goes well. And I, um, you know, get that opportunity. But if not, God is still good, no matter what. But um, I'm up um, studying some um, interview questions, but I'm also up reading the scriptures as well. And right now, I'm in Romans chapter 5, and I'm, re I'm reading Romans chapter 5 through 8. And I'm doing that for about maybe three months. I've been reading it, reading it for about two weeks now. Uh, me, yeah, two weeks, two weeks, maybe three. Um, I just finished Romans chapter four. Oh, Romans chapter four. Sorry, I just finished. I just finished Romans chapter one through chapter four. I read that for about three months. And now moving forward to read Romans chapter 4, chapter 5, to Romans chapter 8 for about three months. So I can just have the Lord's word just constantly in me. I, you know, I know it. You know, I want to constantly feed on God's word because that's the only thing that will get me through the day. You know? We as Christians walk this narrow path, right? We are constantly walking through the valley of the shadow of death. But yet, our eyes are focused only on Christ. Not worrying about this world. I mean, yes, we worry, but not worrying about the things around us that may happen to us. Because we know we have a a um, um, a greater calling, a a greater, a better future in Christ, right? So we are just pilgrims walking through. But while we're walking through, we share Christ. I mean, some of us are not a. Uh, evangelist that goes out there and just you know stand on the corner and start preaching uh, most Christians are uh, most strong Christians are the one the ones who hear something that's not right and sometimes intervene or when someone asks them a question right uh, they bring somehow they bring a way to, to Put the scripture out there, right? So, um, and most Christians are like that. Most Christians are not the evangelists that's like a rate comfort, right? So, um, but when asked, it stands strong in God's word, right? And their and the way they carry themselves reflects their walk with Christ. But anyway, I was I'm in Romans chapter five and. I just see where it says the free gift, the free gift, the free gift. And I'm like, man, salvation by grace is a free gift. I just got to read it. <laughs> I just got to read it. You know, I'm going to start from... Uh, verse 14. Let me open it up here. Romans chapter 5, verse 14. And I just want you to just hear it and just dwell on it. All right, I'm starting from, again, verse 14. It says, Yet death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those whose sinning was not like the transgressions of Adam 
who was a type of the one to come. But the free gift is not like the trespass. For if many die through one man's trespass, much more have the grace of God and the free gift by the grace of that one man, Jesus Christ, abounded for many. And the free gift is not like the result of that one man's sin. For the judgment following one, one's trespass brought condemnation. But the free gift following many trespasses brought justification. For if because of one man's trespass, death reigned through that one man, much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign in the life through the one man, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Um, now I probably read it a little bit too fast for you, but man, I just had a that free gift just just popping up, popping up. And I'm like, man, it's a free gift. You know, I'm I'm constantly thinking, and I'm like. We are not all God's people. We're not. We are all of God's creation. But we are not all his people. We're not all his. Some of these people are of the devil. They do his work. And we see that today. We see that today. You know, man, they literally think a man can become a woman. And a woman can become a man. And they will sit here and call a transgender or whatever he or she or whatever they assume their pronouns are and I'm like man come Lord Jesus come you know but again and, and oh my goodness they have they have the right to to say, well, God loves me. God loves me. You do know God hates certain things, right? And that thing about, um, you know, you know, uh, God hate God uh, loves the uh, what, what's that? What's that saying? Um. God, um, he hates the sin but loves the sinner. I'm like, well, who's doing the sinning? <laughs> you know, it's that person. You are doing the sinning that God hates. And matter of fact, you, you are enjoying your sin so much that you, you like, eh, you know, forget God, you know, at the and when I die, God, only God can judge me. Well, may, may I say that you have already been judged? But, but anyway, I'm not going to go into my little spiel. But I just want to sit here and just dwell on that free gift. And I want you to do the same. I'm not going to hold you up. Keep the faith and be strong. I'm out of here. Deuces.